That was, I, I heard something different. All right, and believe it or not, we have good versus evil. Wait, no, yeah. never mind. Both well, these characters are good, right? Yeah, but Bayonetta is more like anti-hero, I guess. She's like actively using dark powers to yeah. save Speaking the Speaking of world. which, did you watch the uh, last season of Castlevania? Uh, not yet, so no spoilers. No spoilers, great. That's my spoiler. Awesome. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's gone. I'm dead. What happened? Um, heel slide happened. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> monster. <laughs> <laughs> Looks in the mirror. You don't belong in this world. <laughs> I feel like this is just the matchup, though. Like, especially a good Bayonetta player is like, you don't. Bel How does Belmont players get back when Tejuice is just able to chill out there for 50 years? I mean. <laughs> Oh, is he? Oh, okay. Shield's just in time right there. Hoo hoo hoo. I don't know. If anyway. We're town City again. <laughs> <laughs> We've been on Town and City all night tonight. But all right. So we have a huge, huge lead for Tejuice right now. He's only taken 34%. And he's. Uh, okay. He's this is. I, if this isn't a three stock, good stuff to Dark Falcon, I guess. Um, what are you talking about? This isn't a three stock. <laughs> I'm saying if this isn't a three stock. Oh, if and this good isn't stuff, a three stock. Yeah. If this yeah, isn't a three, yeah. three stock, and good stuff to Dark Falcon. Uh, but honestly, at this point, I don't know if he's going to get much further than that. 77% onto Bayonetta is not that bad. But at the same time, uh, one more hit is going to be a huge amount of damage. As we are... No! Oh, but the neutraler has so many lasting hitboxes that it does not, in fact lead to uh the ooh, the, oh my god oh, i don't even know what's happening here so many projectiles going back and forth help me it's projectile like he's he's really trying his best to like have some means of setup that was a really sick rap but he's trying to like get some semblance of control at the very least but the way town and city functions particularly on this layout and thankfully to the high ceiling Bayonetta can constantly reset her resources. She can constantly find the means to always have, like, oh, basically always be plus. And for a slow character like Belmont, that's terrifying. All right, good stuff to Dark Falcon. Doesn't get three stocked. Um, is it going to be much better than that? No. I don't think so. Well, not a JV. Magnifying glass damage. Unfortunate Bayonetta can never get a JV because she carries uh, you in the know. blast zone. It's, uh, no, no, it was good because it back in remember Smash Four, she would never, she could never get a JV three. Yeah, you know, always took that one percent magnifying glass. It was important. It held the character back. <laughs> yeah, this character should just be immune to damage. That would make <laughs> Smash Four. <laughs> Immune to all damage. <laughs> yeah, no. Nope. Just slap down an Uno card. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> anyway, I mean, so what adjustments <laughs> need to happen in game two? Uh, for starters, don't take her to town. Don't take, don't take Bay out of town. Don't do it. This goes for a lot of care, a lot of like heavy combo characters. Um, Falco is another one that comes to mind. Where Falco on town is just really good. Like. It, and like always having the means to find uh, cheeky resets to actually end your combos in death, huge. FD, as we will see, it's a pretty solid, uh, pretty solid pick. This is the but first time we've you... seen FD all night, I think. Uh, I think you are correct. Um, but what you lose in platform ability, uh, you gain in like airspace control. However, this can go both ways. Bayonetta may not be able to kill you, but she can just constantly dominate the air around you and then come in with a dive kick all of a sudden and still pop off for huge combos. Oh, wow, what a combo right there. Just actually able to convert that into the back air at the end of it. That's massive. Tejus right now looking absolutely fantastic as he once again starts another combo, putting them out there. He had to burn his air dodge, but makes it back to the ledge, but already taken 41. And it seems like any time he gets touched, any little light graze puts him in a blender of pain. And oh, 
turn on the motor. Here we are. 98% and growing. And he's not even able to get out of the corner effectively. There's always the threat of which timing one of his projectiles. And somehow managing to get neutral, get a beautiful timing. What a tech. Yeah, what a tech. Amazing stuff. But he's already at 150 and... Ooh, he waits out the air, waits out the witch time, but doesn't actually get anything, and then that's an up tilt back air. Uh, we're in a similar situation where uh, if Dark Horse doesn't get three stock, good stuff. Sorry, Dark Falcon. Why do I keep saying Dark Horse? Uh, it's Comic Company. They're pretty cool. Yeah. Good. Excuse that little tidbit of knowledge, but I will say the uh, the up tilt back air combo that Bayonetta has. Not only is it a pretty solid kill confirm, but it is dependent on drift. You do have to adjust yourself depending on uh, the DI on the up tilt. But Dark Falcon don't got anywhere to go. Like Richter can't move reliably, so that combo only becomes so much easier. On top of everything else, that becomes so much easier for Bayonetta to just swarm this swarm this Belmont and showcase the, the power of an Umber Witch, I guess. I mean, she fights angels for a, kind of a living, and I mean, Belmont's just another one to the another one to the pile. Okay, Dark Falcon, though, still staying alive here, and right as I say, that actually gets touched. And anytime he gets touched, I what happened right there? What, what happened to the down air? I, it hit the starter hitbox, but didn't conclude because lol Bayo. <laughs> <laughs> the character has so many hitboxes. Of course, not all of them are going to work. Like, there's uh, like a drag down one when they're in the air and then a landing hitbox on her heel. But that heel hitbox is kind of like it's smaller than it. it well, good, actually. It's kind of small, so... <laughs> Sometimes you can just like landing hit or drag down into the sour spot and, or into nothing at all. All right, 131% on Dark Falcon. He is oh, but getting a little bit of stage control. Finally, forward smash not quite enough. Not at the percent where that would actually kill. But okay, does he? He read that option, but just a little bit too slow. We're actually getting to the point right now where if he manages to keep this Bayo at the ledge, if he manages to actually take a stock right here, that's not going to be that insurmountable. Granted, when he puts himself on the ledge instead, that's that's really scary. Okay, the bat within kind of saving pages from worse damage, and now we actually have it. It feels like perhaps Dark Falcon has found a rhythm that he needs to be doing, but he cannot afford to mess up even in the slightest. He is going to be living, but no air dodge, meaning he has to go to the ledge. He manages to find his way there, but 168. Any move, any hit right now from Tejus will probably mean the end for him. And right there, the up to the back air, it confirms so late. I feel like it only confirms that late because it's Belmont's. Like he, the DI between no DI, like in or out. I mean, we can see it. I believe the first time he was DIing in, and the second time he was DIing, uh, like it might have been too late, and he might have been hit hit with no DI. Like this one goes straight up. Still confirms. I think it was stock one that had, uh, or stock two that had the up tilt back air, but that one was. It's stock one. Uh, oh no, because stock one was the the up air backer. Shout out to yeah. Bayonetta backer. Um, yeah, so it was good this move. one. Oh, pretty good. Surprisingly good move. So yeah, he's at 150. He's holding away. Doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, now we're moving on to game three. What stage do you think we're going to be seeing? Here? Uh. I mean, we saw a stage swap again. Okay, Lila is the pick. I mean, this may as well be a comfort pick because where Dark Falcon was yeah, having to... Whoa. Oh, come, come on, man. <laughs> where Dark Falcon was, was having the was, most success was... was you know, go ahead, go ahead. You know. I was just about to say, those guns, man, with the stage tilting, they can do so much damage from just the entire stage away. Yeah, look at it. There we go. Yeah, just need another 15. Eat another, eat another 5. Do it. You won't. Oh, I remember. I remember this dilemma from again second mention of Smash Four because Bayonetta's on screen. It's our contractual obligation to. 
you don't take Bay out of this stage because gun camping was far too powerful. Same holds true. The bullet arts didn't change, just her ability to kill has. So, yeah, you know, this stage is still not very good for uh, to take Bayo to. Uh, that being said, these axes hitting through the stage are problematic. Oh, yeah, that's definitely one of the things that probably one of the great reasons why he chose, chooses to go here. Um, but now we have dead even percent between these two. It's the first time we've really seen this. Up until now, it's basically just been Tejus uh, Te in control. But right now, Dark Falcon, for the first time since we've seen these two face off, is he's in the lead. And we were, you know, we were questioning this counterpick because it's like, oh, bullet arts. But like, look at this, look at this ledge. What do you do? <laughs> what's what's the answer there? And yeah, down tilt, just get off me tool. He's not even able to put on that much pressure. Okay, up tilt to back air. No, that time not able to find it, but the up smash soon after will close out that stock. We now have Tejus at 80% on his second stock. Uh, but granted, this is Bayonetta against a Belmont. One solid combo could mean huge amounts of damage or possibly even an edge guard to kill. Let's see if he can actually find one of those, though. This is the start of it. Forward air. He's looking to actually intercept that, but... Oh, no, he's continuing this combo. It's still going. He's actually about to lap him in percent. He's dead. And there it is. He took him all around. The, you know, we're in outer space, so that was around the world. And now, once more, Teju's in control. The combo. Oh, no, is he dead? Is that it? Is that the tournament? And there you have it. Man, like of all the time. Every single one was a two stock. Every single game, right? No, like get, last uh, game was a one stock, right? Last game, last, yeah, last game was a one stock. But Tay just really turned it on. Look at this full combo: the reset, the coverage, and the finish. I want to see That's the one just... before this because he took him all over the place. It was like he was from one side to the other, the other. This isn't even the full combo. There was like a solid 13, 14 seconds of combo before this. But yeah, he that's missed, it. But look how hey. scared Dark Falcon is. Like, I mean, reasonably so, right? Your tether just missed. You have to get to ledge somehow. The only means you can do that is to both use your jump and up B almost immediately, which probably means you're going to end up trading. So by just holding the guns and pinwheeling, pinwheeling straight down, I closed out a combo. More just like paid you a good advantage on top of I'm not